Hi there, my name is Kunneberg. Uh, this is just kind of a little update on where I am with my channel, uh, with videos, uploading, recording, uh, and basically why they're delaying certain uh, uploads and things like that. So basically, I was originally with Movie Maker for Microsoft. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's a decent little program, uh, it does what it does, but it does have its limitations. Uh, you want to do a uh, grab a picture, screenshot, it, it's pretty blurry. Um, even if you import from a photo um, a program from Microsoft. Uh, so I bit the bullet and bought a program. Uh, it's Movie Studio um, from Sony. I got the Movie Studio um, Platinum Edition. Um, it's good, it's good. You know, it's not Sony Vegas, but then Sony Vegas is nearly 400 quid. And uh, this has basically got most stuff in it that uh, Sony Vegas has just a couple of extra tweaks obviously because that's what you pay for um, it's a learning curve you, you know you look at it and you think what the hell's all this um, but persevere and just kind of tweak a little bit here there and everywhere now obviously because of this you w when you record you have to render which is basically where you just tweak your colors if you want to sharpen whatever um, but then rendering is just converting it to a format that you can upload um, when you render, it obviously does take up a lot of processor usage, um, but with Sony I can actually um, render from my uh, graphics card because I have a, a GeForce. Um, so that's good, um, but it still takes a long time. I mean, a 20 minute clip rendering that from a 3.8 gig to a 1.1 gig can take about an hour. So you know that, and then you don't even know if the the quality is good. You look at it and think, oh no, now I have to change the settings again. So it's it's not an easy thing. So when uh, my hats off to all the big YouTubers out there for keeping content because it's not easy from a beginner's point of view. Um, also, then because of that, I uploaded my first one, I think, on um, definitely on Movie Maker, and I rendered in. I thought it was 1080p. It wasn't. I think it was 720, uh, but it was a kind of a weird format setting, so that's why I kind of look at it blurry. Stained the demo uh, was on the Movie Maker again, but because it's kind of a slow game, it's not a fast game like um, like you know, normal first-person shooters. It didn't really matter because it was such a slow-moving game. But when I recorded my latest one, which is the Raw Reel, I actually used Movie Studio uh, to render uh, using settings that uh, are pre-set up for YouTube and then just kind of tweaked a little bit here and there with the bitrate and stuff and there's a lot of things you have to read about and it's it is really uh, in depth when you start looking at these sort of things um so regarding to actual recording and stuff like that i've got a crap load of ideas of what i want to do i you know you, you're sitting there and you think oh i think that's another one I'll, I'll write that down well it's all well and dandy having a list of along your arm but you, you've got to create the damn things not damn things, but you know what I mean. It it takes a while, so um, I have a few ideas of what I'm doing. I'm in the process of doing the walkthrough, um, but then obviously I have to play the game uh, and record. And again, it's not like th like th for example the stained demo. It's only 20 minutes, but it took me a week and a half because it was constant. As it did each thing, you die or whatever. You have to keep re-recording, re-record, re-record, then edit. So it's not easy if you, especially that was just. A 20 minute gameplay but if you played uh, like a proper game a full game it's going to be longer because you'll do a bit and you'll die and like oh or you you basically don't know where you're going so you're looking around so you think well I can't upload that because it looks a bit crap if I'm sort of standing there looking at a door going uh no this isn't the right door so for that you have to keep re rejigging it um I have a couple of ideas for BF4 well, quite a few ideas for BF4 and BF3 um, and some other ideas for many other games that I play a lot more, like Civilizations. I'm going to try and do a, a complete round uh, gameplay where I, from start to end I just play. And then hopefully, you never know, uh, some people might reply and just say, I oh, know, uh, attack that city state, whoever they are. Uh, I've done it once or twice, I kind of win. So I could do that. Um, and so, therefore, obviously, when you upload, you get loads of files and stuff like that and uh, then you have to edit them and this is going to be by the sounds of it a 10 minute clip so um, 
you know that's going to take me about an hour to upload it's hardly going to take me much, much to edit um so yeah so basically that's how it's going to go uh it is taking me a while i am new to all this sort of thing um but bear with me you know i'm only doing what i can do oh and by the way when you upload to youtube the 20 minute clip can take about three hours so <laughs> you know i'm going to try and do in 10 minute slots not just because oh it's nice to, to watch just a 10 minute slot but it saves my I mean, uh, internet connection and means I can do stuff other than just sit there and listen to my computer whirring away in the distance for, you know, three hours and ruin my evening. Anyway, there you go. Um, so I shall be creating more and I'm hoping to just talk more natural instead of sounding like I'm recording off a script. I'm usually not. Obviously, the raw and real, you can tell I'm not, but it just sounds like that because I'm kind of new to this, this sort of thing. Anyway, hope you all enjoy my channel. Uh, please leave a comment in the comments box below what content you want, how well I'm doing, you know, that was the kind of drivel. Anyway, see you later. Ta-ta. Bye.